Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Could I have your attention, please? And we can um, we can get started, get things underway. Okay. Well, look. Firstly, please let me welcome you to our first inaugural. I can't remember first inaugural. Good lord, that's the way to start, isn't it? Our inaugural two degrees sustainability quarterly here in New York, and it's a really great pleasure, and it's in association with uh, CRD Analytics, and we're very grateful, Michael, for your support on this, so thank you. My name's Martin Chilcott, and you can probably guess from my voice that I'm English, or Australian, or New Zealand. You can't do this thing with accents, you guys, can you? I am actually English, and I'm delighted to be in New York, but I now spend 50% of my time in the US, and it's an enormous pleasure, so I'm delighted to be here, and delighted to invite you to this just magnificent setting, isn't it? It really is gorgeous. It used to be, apparently, um, a refurbished taxi depot, which adds another kind of dimension of meaning to it, I think, about you reusing something that uh, would have been a brownfield site otherwise. And of course, just out the window, you can probably see the highlight. I don't know if you, those of you have been looking. Another fabulous example of uh, green urban regeneration. And I think when that's finished, we've only got certain sections done now in the city, but when that's finished, that's going to be fabulous. And of course, thirdly, with the rain today, this really feels like a tropical forest, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, and if we're trying to save tropical forests, um, I think we're doing our bit here today. So that's great. I've got a few announcements uh, before I get going. Firstly, I'd like to uh, thank Mark and our sponsors, MetaVoo. Mark, where are you? Thank you very much indeed. So MetaVoo uh, uh, provide advisory services and performance measurement products to help companies across multiple sectors innovate their products, services, and business models, and we're very grateful for your support today, so thank you very much. I've got a health and safety announcement to make. Um, there are no fire alarms expected, so if the alarm goes off, it's for real, so the fire exits over there, but you mustn't panic if you see the anaconda, okay? All the, all the green tropical forest frogs, or any of the rest of the stuff that's coming with the, with the environment that we're in. I am very lucky, very genuinely lucky to be chief executive of Two Degrees. It's a very special, business, not because it's a business so much as because it's a community. It's much, much more than a network or just a database or a, or a, or a mailing list. It is a place where people, 13,000 plus, growing at about six to 800 a month from about 90 countries around the world, come together, collaborate and solve problems to make our world and our economy more sustainable. And you know, there isn't a task or a mission that I think Anybody in this room would disagree is more important than that. So let me just give you three quick examples of the way that community comes together and what it does. So we have those 13,000, whatever they are, people, broken into what we call working groups. Now, of course, some of you are members, some of you are new members, and you will be joining your working groups. And one of those working groups is, is called Waste, or Zero Waste, and there's a retailer in there that we've been working with it's called B&Q. It's a bit like Home Depot. Did I get that right, the depot bit? Thank you. <laughs> and uh, so Big Q's like Home Depot, and they asked us to help them, ask the community to help them find an alternative to peat compost for selling into gardens and, and to gardeners. And so that group has been, over the last month, working together in the discussion forums, finding alternatives, which involve all sorts of things like coconut husks and, and the rest of it. And they've drilled that knowledge and that body of knowledge they've created down into a smaller working group and have now come up with viable alternatives which they think they can start taking to market. So that's one example. Another example in, um, is uh, with an international airline. And um, this international airline uh, has a particular nasty problem, which is why I'm not gonna mention its name, as I think all international airlines probably do, is that by EC regulation, by law, they have to throw out their foam seats every three to four months because they get categorized as medical waste. So now you can use your imaginations. I hope you've all finished your canapes. Why it is a long haul flight seats might get called medical waste at the end of about a four, year period, four, four month period. But the challenge in this is that these, the foam is highly fire retardant because it has to be in an airplane for obvious reasons. And so they can't burn them and turn them into energy. So they've been digging holes in the ground and burying them in the ground, which is a terrible thing to do. So we put it in to the group, into the community and the community identified a way in which these foam seats could be chopped up into little balls, treated with UV to kill the bugs, so they were declassified, and then sold into the building industry as insulation material. Just fabulous left field thinking, only comes about by bringing different parties together to make it happen. 
A third example is work that we're doing inside a private working group with the world's second largest retailer, Tesco's. So there we brought Tesco and its top, at the moment, 500 uh, suppliers, but it will be growing out to their top 2,000 suppliers over the next year together to work collectively to reduce carbon in that supply chain by 30% by 2020. And again, you can only do these sorts of collaborative workings through platforms like Two Degrees. So the real heroes of Two Degrees are our members. It's our members who have this extraordinary experience, knowledge and expertise, which is leveraged or mined, if you like, to help solve the problems for each other. Now, it doesn't just happen. The, the extraction of that experience and insight to solve problems doesn't just happen from the technology. It also requires people. It needs people to facilitate it. And the leadership for the community team that manages that is actually now here in New York. And I'd quite like, if you don't mind, if I don't embarrass them, Stephen Nemeth and Ben Carmichael and the rest of the New York team just to stand up for a second. Just to embarrass you. Please give them a round of applause. They work very hard. <laughs> The challenge we face is a global challenge, isn't it? We all know that. And we have a narrowing window of opportunity in which to address it. If Two Degrees is to play its part in helping organizations accelerate the development and implementation of sustainability strategies by leveraging that collective knowledge and know-how, then we've got to play in the world's biggest economy, which is here in the US. We've got to make the US our number one market. And it's for that reason that today is so important and that we're investing so heavily in our presence in North America and we're so grateful for you to be along today. This is our inaugural event. It's the first of a series of quarterlies that will take place and you will see how these quarterlies work and fit in with the, the rhythm of life, if you like, and of collaboration on the platform. They're unique in a number of ways because they're part of a continuous conversation. Now, tonight, because it's the first one, it's gonna feel a bit thin, okay, about what I'm going to say. But believe me, back in Europe where we've been doing this for a while now, the subject matters are decided for discussion in these roundtables, are decided in the working groups online. The participants are chosen online. The debate then takes place in, on the tables, they get recorded and it gets taken back online for further discussion with those members that didn't take place. Now we're going to try that a bit today, but of course you were told where you were going to go, so you didn't elect to go to particular tables, and we did also choose the subject matters for you. But as we get better at this, you will find that this will be by members and for members and will become a very powerful means for you to solve problems and work together and a continuation of what happens on the platform. It's also an opportunity, these events, for us to give you previews and uh, early uh, warning of some of the things we're going to do. And so today I'd like to draw your attention to this. You've all got one in, in, on your table. It's a draft of our new white paper that's just coming out be launched formally in the, towards the end of the month, um, which looks at how businesses can develop a competitive advantage from being sustainable. So that's why it's called sustainable competitive advantage. And it looks at why this, that we are in the grips of an inevitable revolution, which is not dissimilar to the one we've just been through with technology, information technology and the internet, and before that with the industrial revolution and the agrarian. So please take a copy, please read it. We would love your feedback. I'd love to know if we're, you think we're leaving stuff out. And we'd love to know more and better case studies, particularly North American case studies, because at the moment our membership is biased to Europe, and so therefore necessarily the, me the, the case studies are slightly biased to, to Europe. So your feedback on that would be great. Tonight, our format then is as follows. We're going to have in a session, uh, a panel session chaired by Michael Muyo. Um, so Michael, I look forward to introducing that in a second. You're then to go to your round tables. If um, we've got some members, some people still due to turn up. If some of the tables are feeling light by the time we get there and you want to mingle in with other tables, then we can arrange that. But I'm hoping at the moment uh, the new media table, social media table, will get more friends soon, Linda. I'm sure you will. And Michelle, I'm sure you will. Um, and then of course after the round tables we've got, please, more, more networking drinks and canapes. Um, so that will be fabulous. So for, with no more ado, please let me introduce Michael. CRD Analytics, who are going to run the panel. I need you to introduce us. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Michael Muyo. I'm president and founder of CRD Analytics. I know most of you, and I look forward to getting to know uh, those that I do not. So again, I think that this uh, choice of venue was just spot on, just fantastic. And I think that it deserves another round of applause for the folks at Two Degrees and Event Savant. So 
I have the, the easy job tonight. Usually I'm out speaking, but tonight I actually get to moderate and have other people in the hot speed. So I'd like to have my panelists come up and sit down, and then I'll introduce them and, and do the introductions. So we have Mark Serwinowski from Metaview, and Roberta Barbieri from Diageo, and Aman Singh from Vault.com. all have these in your in your uh, agendas, but I'm going to read them. Uh, Mark Serwinowski is the president and founder of MetaView, which helps companies innovate their products, services, and business models, leveraging sustainability as a strategy for value creation. Mark has practiced in the environmental space for 20 years and founded MetaView in 2002. He has held management and equity positions at leading product and service providers in the environmental engineering, construction, and risk management sectors. He has successfully developed and launched two business consultancies for environmental and sustainability and holds an advisory board position in Brownfield's real estate development firm. Roberta Barbieri, Global Environment Program Manager at Diageo, is responsible for establishing the company's strategy on environmental sustainability on an end-to-end -end supply chain basis, from the barley in the field to the empty bottle in the bin and everywhere in between, and in implementing programs to embed the strategy in all aspects of Diageo's business. Roberta has over 20 years of experience in corporate environmental sustainability and in several different industries, including the electronics, entertainment, and food and beverage. Aman Singh is a senior corporate responsibility editor with Vault.com, an IEMA certified CSR practitioner. Aman is the author of Vault CSR blog, In Good Company, a contributor to Forbes CSR blog, and CNBC's blog on executive careers. Formerly with the Wall Street Journal, Aman is a New York University alumnus. She was named among 2010's top 100 thought leaders in trustworthy business behavior by Trust Across America and ranked number four in HR Examiner's top 25 HR digital influencers for 2011. Aman Singh is widely read and syndicated on global websites such as 3BL Media, SustainabilityForum.com, CSR Wire's Talkback blog, and Boston College Center for Corporate Citizenship blog. So as you can see, these are three thought leaders who are literally in the industry, either working with companies or helping companies literally be more sustainable. And we're really looking forward to what they have to say tonight. So again, I'm gonna to moderate this forum. We're gonna have the, each one of the, the uh, panelists speak for about five minutes, and the whole theme is innovation through collaboration. And they have great examples of what they're gonna talk about. Uh, after each speaker talks, I'll ask each one a question, and then we're gonna open it up from the floor. So the one thing that I just wanted to open up with is that we're really excited to be partnering with Two, uh, two Degrees Network. I, I've known Martin for about two years, and we've been working uh, alongside each other, but this is the first event we've been able to do here in New York, and we're really, really excited about that. So, thank you. Um, the other thing that uh, we did want to announce is we just launched a great report uh, with one of our strategic alliances, Brand Logic. It's the Sustainability Leadership Report, Measuring Perception Versus Reality. And you can download it at sustainabilityleadershipreport.com. And it's a, it's a nice piece. We try to work on things that haven't been done before, and typically uh, people are measuring green or sustainability from the consumer perspective. This is the first report that taps into the investor base, as well as the purchasing managers or supply chain, as well as the graduating students, and sees that, and it compares it in a sustainability IQ matrix against the actual performance that we contributed to for the SmartView 360 platform. The other big announcement is that we just formed a strategic alliance with MetaView, and they are able to leverage our data and our information and our analytics to work directly with companies. Because largely our, our client is investors, we don't consult with companies directly, so we're always looking for partners to be able to leverage our information to work with companies directly, and we're really excited about working with, with MetaView. I met Mark at the National Association of Energy Management down in Fort Lauderdale, and we just totally hit it off, and I think it's a, another great case study, soon to be, uh, in terms of innovation through collaboration.